scarring of the liver was once thought to be an irreversible situation. But a new and exciting field of experimental drugs may put an end to this dogma. The liver is a large, smooth organ that carries out many essential functions. It stores and releases nutrients, aids digestion, and breaks down unwanted substances. Unfortunately, numerous chronic diseases damage the liver, and when they continue for a long time, they cause scarring, a condition called fibrosis. The most common causes are hepatitis viruses, long-term heavy drinking, and fatty liver disease associated with obesity and diabetes. This scarring is caused by a buildup of fibrous collagen proteins, which begin to replace healthy tissue. If the fibrosis keeps worsening, the liver can progress to a state known as cirrhosis. At this stage, excessive scarring hampers the liver's blood flow and stops it being able to do its job. Unchecked, cirrhosis can lead directly to liver failure and puts patients at high risk for liver cancer. Cirrhosis currently kills a million people worldwide each year. The good news is that the liver has its own mechanisms that degrade scar tissue. And this discovery has spurred a new wave of research into developing drugs which can halt the progression of fibrosis or speed up healing once the underlying disease has been treated. The best way to reduce fibrosis is to avoid it altogether by removing the risk factors associated with the disease. But now, scientists are examining the biology of the scar-causing cells as potential targets for therapeutic interventions. Scars are generated by cells called myofibroblasts, when these cells become activated, they proliferate, migrate to injury sites, and secrete collagen into the extracellular matrix. As these collagen fibers accumulate, they become cross-linked into a mesh which stiffens the tissue and blocks its function. So researchers are aiming their sights first and foremost at myofibroblasts. One strategy is to target the messenger molecules which coordinate their activation. These are released by damaged liver cells and immune cells and could be targeted by new drugs. One example is a drug called Senecrivorog that blocks receptors for pro-fibrosis messengers called cytokines. Another set of drugs could inactivate myofibroblasts by targeting receptors on their surface called integrins that allow them to interact with other cells and the extracellular matrix. Multiple drugs that work this way are currently being explored and will enter human trials soon. Blocking the myofibroblast's ability to make collagen is another option. These drugs work by inserting small bits of RNA into the nucleus of myofibroblasts, destabilizing the machinery that creates collagen fibers. Another approach is to block the enzymes that cross-link collagen fibers to stiffen the scar matrix. This makes the collagen easier for the body to degrade. Finally, an exciting new avenue is the use of cell therapies. Introducing extra immune cells called macrophages into rodents' livers strongly boosts the organ's intrinsic anti-scarring mechanisms. And now, human trials using patients' own macrophages have begun. All these therapies will require clinical trials, and due to the slow, progressive nature of liver fibrosis, this may take years. But new biomarkers in development may speed up trials considerably by showing whether the drugs are working even before the overall fibrosis starts to decline. Hopefully these new approaches will help us to victory in the scar wars.